Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 84 of Let's Platinum Elden Ring. Okay, let's keep going up. Uh, I will actually wholly infuse my weapon again. I can't believe I didn't realize that for the longest time. <laughs> oh well, it happens. This game is so big, man. It's it's just ridiculously big. I I do, like, as I've been playing more and more, I've, I have been really enjoying it, and I think it is... It's, uh... It's definitely one of a kind. I, I don't know how long it's going to be before we start seeing more games like this, but one thing that actually has come into, into view lately about um, how games... Oh yeah, I don't know why this happens. Sometimes they just don't die, which is very strange. Um, because it was wholly infused, so he should have died straight away. But one thing that has come into my... I don't know if purview is the right word. I like to use that word. I don't know if I always use it cor correctly. But one thing that's definitely come into view is um, the invention of uh, Unreal Engine 5 and how apparently with the way that engine works, uh, it I think it's essentially, it's kind of like machine learning and um, in combination with, what's that other one called? Um, procedurally generated content. So when you're creating like a large expanse and you want things to look different but the same but also you want there to be variety but you want it to be consistent and all that kind of stuff uh in i think sort of in the good old days or in in the olden days by which i mean you know not very long ago at all let me just um infuse one more time even though i don't think it's going to make a big difference uh you would have to i think you'd have to have an artist like just design that over and over again like i i guess uh maybe shadow of the colossus would be a good example so um that game is open world and there's just so much to it and someone had to like basically design and draw all that another what is going on How, is it am i getting i uh, okay i know I'm, i always mix mix up my points but it's g the golden rune thing again like i don't understand the only thing i can attribute it to is the fact that i've been surviving for so long like because i haven't died in a little while and that's the only thing i can attribute it to because i this pretty much almost never happened when i uh played the game for the first time and obviously when you play the game for the first time, you're going to be dying like crazy. Are there no things here? Hmm. Well, it was the worst time to get one, but... Oh well, it happens. Uh, let's grab these butterflies. But yeah, I think that's why. I think the... Uh, this is Church of the Plague. A lot of sacramental buds here. I think that's why um, game development have been, has been speeding up very, very quickly. Because now it just... You press a button... And it kind of like procedurally generates it for you and it's like, okay, well that takes care of months of work in like a split second. So I think that's why games like this, I mean, this, this is a perfect example of it. Like I look around and I'll go and I go, okay, yeah, a human could have designed this area and it looks pretty much perfect. Like it looks exactly like how I think they intended it to look. But if a computer can do it in a few seconds, like that's also insane. So yeah. Really, really cool. It's, uh, that stuff is so fascinating to me. Alright, so we have this young girl here. She's breathing heavy. And she is in a very bad way. Let's pick up our... Uh, uh, let's pick up, pick up our 8th sac sacred tier, based on the fact that I have a plus 7 flask. And let's talk to this young girl. Let me uh, zoom in just to see what's going on. She has lost her right arm. So let's talk to her. Who's there? Well, it matters not. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh writhes with scarlet rot. It is a curse. Not to be meddled with by man. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh... Okay, so that's all she says. Let's... Uh, let me try doing this. I, I would, like, honestly, I would uh, rest at the grace point, but I don't really want the enemies to come back right now, so I'm going to just test saving and quitting, because what I've written down is to exhaust her dialogue, but at the moment, she's not saying much. If you are wise, okay. Flesh, All right, let's leave things like that. We'll come back in a little bit. I hate when that happens. For some reason, you can't get on the horse immediately. Uh... A few more scar sacramental buds. Okay, well, the other downside is that I just realized that that eliminated my golden rune acquisition, but that's okay. 
And here it is again. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So let's go down here. We're going to have... There are actually quite a lot of enemies here. And I will holy infuse just to... Um, I don't know if this is going to do too much more damage, but it's got to do something. There are a ton of bat enemies here. And these guys can be very strong, so be aware. Probably going to get poisoned a lot as well. So just have a uh, flame cleanse me ready to go. Let's do that right now, in fact. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. That is what I wanted to do. Cool. These ones seem to drop golden rune nines, which is actually pretty valuable. So make sure... Ah, oh, it... Wait a minute. Is it designated to a specific area? Is that what's going on? Surely not. Because it started and then immediately ran out. Hmm. <laughs> a lot of research needs to be done into exactly how that works. I think me... Uh, saving and quitting is not helping, but... Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm gonna black... Let's see, regular black flame. Perfect. That one I maybe should have... Bloodhound's fanged. Don't know if I can reach this one. I don't know if this also makes it go further. Oh my god. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> oh, he's just hanging around. Okay. Take you out. Yeah, so these ones, uh, these like pale bats are ones to look out for more. It actually reminds me of the, um, that man-bat thing from, I think it was Arkham, uh, Arkham Knight. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Asylum City. Yeah, I think it was from Arkham Knight, the, uh, the man-bat thing. Okay. Drawstring po poison grease. Just quickly apply poison. Oh, I never read poison armament, did I? Eh, it does what you think it does. Very deadly. Okay, nice. Doing real well with the rune acquisition. My levels are going up like crazy because of all this survival. <laughs> what is... <laughs> is that the one that fell? No. I love the fact that... Like, what an interesting idea. Let's have like an enemy that consistently or like will always guarantee drop a golden rune 9. <laughs> it's almost like making them worth whatever a golden rune 9 is plus what they drop regularly. Golden Rune 5. Mambo number 5. Doom, 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 doom. Alright, let's have a look. Oh, yes, let's try and get these guys. These guys, as I've figured out. Alright, now, also coming up, oh, as I've figured out, these guys don't drop the four, tower, four, to four toed foul foot as often as the other ones, but that's fine. There's some random. Um, what are these guys called again? Uh. I forgot what they're called. It's not stone digger trolls. Whatever, I forgot. Um, I could look it up in the... Uh, Demi-human. Okay, cool. What was I saying? Uh, ah yes, there is a chance that I will die coming up. Uh, not right this second, but eventually. <laughs> You'll see. Because I actually don't really have a strategy for how to deal with it, but we're gonna just try. All right, Mr. Stone Digger Troll. So what we're gonna do, him is not, he's not too bad. Just do the jumping R2. When that happens, get away. Definitely charged R2, definitely charged R2. Beautiful. Go for the headshot. Hopefully get the bleed. I don't think that was, but it's fine. There we go, that's the lead. And he's gone. Hooray, we did it. I am not 100% sure if that one comes back. I, I don't think he comes back. Which would be very fortunate if that's the case. Now, are there any items here? You'll have to bear with me for a sec because I cannot remember. Uh, it doesn't say that there are on the map, but I'm going to play around with this because I feel like there's something you can get like this is a quite high up position I think we're also on top of like a very large skull which is really cool 
Oh yeah, that's where we fought the death right bird. Right? Yeah. Yes, it is, it is. Okay. Well, there's nothing over here, which is, is a shame. Now, the part that could cause death. So, this is one of those parts in games where they, like, they trick you. There's a large skull as well. On top of that one, there are some items though. We'll get that eventually. It's really cool. Uh, Alright, this is one of those parts in games where they, they, like, trick you with how they've designed um, the enemy, the enemies that you'll find around here. Maybe, um, what can I use? Maybe Lightning Spear? I'll get Lightning Spear ready. Because what's going to happen here... Let me try going over here first. No. There's another 20 black key bolts. Okay. That's fine. Okay, good. That's the ones to watch out for. I got hit by all three, didn't do much, which is quite surprising. Okay, doing well, doing well. Anything over here? Okay, good. Okay, I think we'll be fine. Golden Rune 4. Um, those black key bolts, if I didn't mention it, for some reason there's only... I think there's like 99 in the game total. Uh, the We already... I think we have 40 of them. It's not a big deal, but... Uh, yeah, 40. The first 20... Oh, they cause Scarlet Rock build up. Okay, that's probably why they're really good. They... Um, let me deal with these guys, because these, like, rams, like, actually like to ram you, so... They can cause issues later. Oh, they dropped two thin beast bones. I don't kill too many of the animals in the game. Got some birds, got some birds. What was I saying? Um, yeah, I think there's like only 99 in the game, or 90, something like that. And the first pair were was in the round table hold. We used a stone sword key to gain access to a chest that had the creepers uh, black bow cross bolt. Okay, so in here is also uh, an annoying enemy, and we're gonna try and beat him. So I'm gonna go over here. We've we've fought him before, but he's ready this time. So we're gonna lightning spear him because that does really good damage. It's another one of those bloodhound things, and he is, of course, <laughs> of course, he has one HP left. <laughs> Because that's how it works. I think the reason my first attack did so much damage is because he was semi-unaware. I think that's another little uh, gameplay mechanic that is not really explained. Or at least if it is, it's not hammered into my brain. <laughs> Swamp Lookout Tower. We have a simple cell that we can open here. And we have the Eternal Darkness uh, Sorcery, which is kind of cool, actually. Uh, I'm sure that Bloodhound's Fang at the Swamp Lookout Tower has some kind of story relevance. I do not know what it is. <laughs> Alright, Eternal Darkness requires 35 intelligence, which uh, a lot of people have actually said when I was like looking up information about this spell. A lot of people said that's way too much, and I agree. Creates dark space that draws in spells. Forbidden Sorcery of Selly, a town of sorcery. Creates a space of darkness that draws in sorceries and incantations. This sorcery can be cast while in motion. Originally a lost sorcery of the Eternal City, the despair that brought about its ruin made manifest. So yeah, it absorbs um, sorceries and incantations, which is really good. Really, really good. Uh, a little high on the intelligence cost, but really good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, because we're actually quite close to Sage Gowry, I'm going to try and make it back to him um, carefully. And we can do that by going around here. Let me just take these guys out. It would be really stupid to die by having a ram, ram me. <laughs> right next is somewhere where it's safe. Okay, so let's jump down to this one. Oh, I forgot to mention the that boss that I fought um, with the, the, the double boss, Nox Flowing Sword and all that. I think those are, um, they're probably the one of the, the throne watcher and defender from Dark Souls 2. Um, I think that was kind of the inspiration for them. Is an item over there? Wait, I'll take you. <laughs> Fine. Oh. <laughs> Perfect. The most useless item. I, th I think actually Glass Shard is the e equivalent of Rubbish from Dark Souls 1 and possibly other Dark Souls. I don't remember if the other Dark Souls had Rubbish. Actually Dark Souls 2 did if you uh, broke 
the wooden chest. I remember that. If you if you like smashed or rolled into a wooden, or maybe not rolled, but if you smashed a wooden chest with, um, with your weapon, uh, two or three times, it would change into rubbish. What? Okay, forget what I said about the being unaware because somehow I did more damage to that dog the first time than I did this time. That's something else I'm missing. Nice. I'm so wow. Like Caleb has gone remarkably well. I've probably died like five times so far. Okay, let's talk to Gowrie again. If you remember, we left him with the unalloyed uh, gold needle and he said he needed time. And we were supposed to search for someone called Millicent. Uh, let's talk to him. I have awaited your return. The needle is repaired. Now it will forestall the rotting sickness, I'm sure. Will you give it to the girl, Millicent? I will reward you in kind. Okay, unalloyed gold needle, but now it's repaired, as you can see. Millicent rests at the church atop the cliff beyond Seria, the town yonder. Tended to by the witless pests who worship her, or rather her rotting sickness, as a god. A wretched fate, indeed. The poor girl, she never wished for any of this. Okay. Do you find it peculiar that I would show such concern for the girl? Well, I'm the one that found her, a mere babe in the swamp of Aeonia. She is one of my dear daughters, but the rotting sickness erodes one's memory. I doubt that she remembers the first thing about me. Oh, I must be getting old. I didn't always worry so much. <laughs> hmm. So he found this Millicent girl in the middle of the swamp. Uh, he is claiming that she is his daughter, uh, and, yeah, and he's old because he's boring. <laughs> Anything else? Now, all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent. She's convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. Do so, and you shall receive a handsome recompense, of course. Now she's okay, cool. So. I am sorry if I didn't read the unalloyed gold needle before fixing it. I don't think I did. But let's have a look at it. It says, repaired intricate needle of unalloyed gold. An intricately crafted needle of unalloyed gold. Once snapped in half, it has been repaired by Sage Gowrie. A ritual implement crafted to ward away the meddling of outer gods. It is thought capable of forestalling the incurable rot rotting sickness. Now all you need to do is deliver the needle to Millicent, convalescing in the church atop the cliff just beyond Celia. So we actually know where she is. She's right here, Church of the Plague, and there is Millicent. The map tells us her name. And she's still convalescing. <laughs> Let's um, talk. If you are wise, you will leave immediately. My flesh brides with scarlet rot. Give the... Uh, give an... An... Uh, un... Give an unalloyed gold needle. <laughs> you ask that I stab myself with the needle to quell the scarlet rot, but how? <laughs> Never mind. I've decided I would rather trust you than simply continue to spoil from within. Would you mind averting your eyes for a moment? Well, that was easier than expected. But why do I feel so... Okay, so nothing's happening at the moment. Let's quickly rest at the grace point and see what happens. Okay, she's standing. Nice. It worked. She still has her right arm gone, but she's standing. She's quite tall as well. All right, let's talk to her. I hoped to see you again. My apologies for when last we met. I fainted before I could even thank you. Everything is as you said. Since inserting the needle, the scarlet rot has ceased to writhe. Even the nightmares have abated. And now... 
though I can scarcely believe it myself. I can move as I please. Not that I could ever truly repay you, but I would like you to have this. By way of thanks. A token though it is. Okay, and we get a very powerful heirloom, the Prosthesis Wearer Heirloom. It increases our dex by 5 points. Which is good for us because uh, dex is what we use. A talisman engraved with a scene from a, from a heroic tale. Is that what they all say? Ah, oh, these two say the same. Dex and strength. Interesting. Engraved legend two fingers and then intelligence is probably something to do with sorcery. Raises dexterity. Though born into the accursed rot, when the young girl encountered her mentor and his flowing blade, she gained wings of unparalleled strength. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Anything else? I'm considering leaving. On a journey. With the needle buried in my flesh, I've started to recall, but dimly, my destiny. It's all thanks to you. My name is Millicent. I pray fate permits us meet again. I'm considering the okay, needle my cool. destiny. So she's going to move. She's going to go different places and that's basically a new quest that we've started and we're going to follow that quest uh for quite a while there's this really cool thing here i don't know i'm guessing this was intentional you can run up and hop out of this area <laughs> so that's kind of cool um anyway we'll leave things here and next time we're going to head further north to try and explore this area and see what's up there so for now i want to thank you all for watching episode 84 of less pattern elden ring ah oh, crap there's an enemy <laughs> I should have done that. Hang on. I'm trying to end here. Burn. Nice. I'll take it. Alright, my name is Ultimate456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.